my air my 95 blazer and uh i've been dealing with this for about a year um every time i get it started it'll zing well almost every time sometimes it will but most times it'll zing or sometimes it'll even start turning over and then it'll start zinging before it starts so i went ahead and ordered a starter i'm going to show you guys how to put it on All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect your battery right there. That way when you're playing with the wires down there, you ain't gonna get shocked. All right, now that you got the battery disconnected, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the car jacked up, sitting on jack stands. And I'm gonna see if I can access the wires here through this little flap. There's the stored right there. There's two wires. I'm going to see if I can't get to the nuts from right here. I believe I can. At least definitely the bigger one. And I'm going to take those off. Alright guys, I got the wires off. The bigger one's really easy. I use a 13 millimeter ratchet wrench. But the small one I had a hell of a time. I just used a uh, 8 millimeter socket. But uh, they were pretty rusty. And it was like really hard to get the uh the socket on that one but i eventually got it off so now right here. so now there's the starter you just have the two bolts there for the starter there's one there one there but I'm gonna take my dust cover off. I think there was six bolts I counted total. I'm gonna take that off to maybe give me a little bit more room here because my tranny lines aren't looking very good. I'm gonna try to finesse that thing out of there without breaking any open. Cause I really don't wanna dump a bunch of money into this as it's just my, uh, my beater core more or less. But all right, I'm gonna uh, get started here. All right, guys, as you can see, I got my dust cover off. Also got the starter off. Uh, dust cover, there were six bolts. The bolt closest to the drive shaft was uh, the toughest. Uh, I had to use a ratchet wrench on it and only little tiny turns at a time. And all the bolts were pretty hard to break loose. But once you got them broke loose, it came out pretty easy. Except for the one by the Josh shaft. But starter, I took two bolts out and it came down pretty easy out of here with the dust cover off. So I got the uh, the new starter here. It's an AC Delco. I'll uh, put the part number in the description. I actually bought it off of Amazon for uh, $71. So there's the old one but i did take the uh the two nuts off just so i don't have to fight with it when it's under there i just gotta get the wire on and put the nuts back on but uh i'm gonna get the new starter under there and bolt it up all right guys i uh did get the starter back on i got the dust cover on the only problem I had was getting the dust cover back on is the one edge of the dust cover was hitting the starter for some reason. I'm not sure why. Also, I had a little tough time clearing it around the tranny line, so I did actually notch it off just for what it really is. But I did get the cover back on, ran the bolts back in except for the one. And then the starter. I did want to say the uh, starter bolts are 14 millimeter. And the dust cover bolts are 13 now i'm gonna hook the battery back up and see what we got one quick thing i did want to mention is with the small wire i i got the starter bolt started but i didn't snug them up and i was able to get onto the small bolt a little bit better had a little more room to get my hand in there and then the big the big bolt it wasn't too bad but i definitely uh suggest leaving the starter loose so you can get onto that bottom one first all right guys i got my battery hooked up Let's go see uh, what we got. Oh yeah, a lot 
better. It actually even sounds like it's turning a lot faster than the old one was. And uh, one quick thing here. I did find on the starter was this, uh, the small bolt, the uh, stud, has actually broke loose. So I think that could have been my problem. But overall, I did fix my problem with the, uh, the zinging, and hopefully it'll be good for a while now. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helps.